in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening and a very well, warm welcome to St. Joseph, coming to you from the seaside town of Cowen Bay in North Wales. My name is Sofia. I'm from Spain, but I live in North Wales. Uh, and this evening, I would like to reflect during our Ladies' Month of May on our Lady of Good Health. Our Lady of Good Health has a grand feast day approach. The celebrations start on August 29th and end on her feast day, September 8th, the Nativity of Our Blessed Lady. Known as the Lourdes of the East, devotion to Our Lady of Good Health dates back to the 16th century, when Mary manifested herself three times to the faithful Vailakani in India, providing healing and protection. On the first occasion, Mary is said by tradition to have appeared with the Christ child to a young Hindu boy who was sitting by a pond near a banyan tree. He was overcome by unusual fatigue. The boy was delivering milk to a rich man, Our Lady carrying her infant son asked the boy to share some of his milk with her baby and the boy gladly did so. When the boy finally reached the customer's home, he explained why he was late and why some of the milk was missing. On, ins on inspection, the customer saw the milk container was full. The impatient master did not believe the story of the boy, but the, to the great astonishment of all present, the milk began to surge over the pot and flow out. On reaching the place of the apparition, the gentleman and others began to believe in her appearance. This place began to be called Madakulam, Our Lady's Tank. Around the end of the 16th century, a poor woman and her lame son lived in Vailakani. Every day, the lame boy sat under a banyan tree at a place called Nadu Titu, Central Mount, and sell buttermilk to the thirsty wayfarers. One day, a very bright light appeared in front of him, and from a mist, the light, a lady of peerless grace with a divine child in her arms, asked the boy for a cup of buttermilk. She directed the boy to go and inform a Catholic gentleman in a nearby village to put up a chapel in her name on the spot of the apparition. The boy realized that his legs had become normal on the word from the lady. With great joy, he ran to the village of Negapatinam to carry out the errand. The gentleman, having already been directed in a vision by Our Lady, he, with his support of the people, built a chapel and Naduthitu, where now stands the present shrine basilica. The lady was called Our Lady of Good Health. On September 8, 1650, a Portuguese merchant vessel was caught in a giant storm in the Bay of Bengal as it was sailing from Macau in China to Colombo in Ceylon. 
The helpless sailors prayed fervently for Mary, a star of the sea, to save them. They vowed to build a church in her name. They vowed to build a church in her name, wherever they could land on. The stormy sea became calm. The ship landed near the shore of Bailancani on the feast of the nativity of our blessed Virgin Mary. They transformed the thatched chapel erected by the Catholic gentleman of Negapatina into a beautiful stone-built chapel. On their next visit, they decorated the altar with porcelain plates, illustrated with biblical themes. These plates, giving testimony of their thanksgiving to Our Lady, are still seen today around the throne of the miraculous statue of Our Lady of Good Health, over the main altar of the Shrine Basilica. Prayer to Our Lady of Vailancani. O oh Mary, our Mother of Health and our Heavenly Queen, seated on your throne of mercy and compassion, in your holy shrine at Vailancani, we praise and honor you to be our refuge and our relief. Numerous are the sick who through you have recovered health. Relying on your power and goodness, we fly to you, to you and implore you to heal our infirmities and to obtain for us perfect health of body and soul, that we may better be able to serve you and your divine Son. At all times you have been the help and consolation of the sick, you obtain for them health when it is conductive to their salvation. You assist them at time of death. Help them, O oh most amiable Mother, and obtain for us from all our sufferings or patience to endure them in the spirit of resignation agreeable to God's holy will so that all our trials and sufferings may help to purify our souls and help us to detach ourselves from earthly ties. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening. God bless.